So let's talk a bit more about 18C private temporary tables. A few people have come up to me and said, well, you've had global temporary tables, so it seems that all you're really giving us is something that lets us have unique names within sessions. We've just changed the namespace. But there's actually a lot more to it than that. They're actually very, very efficient to create and use. Much more efficient than a global temporary table. Even though a global temporary table contains temporary data, we're storing that definition in the dictionary. So every time you create one, we have to do a lot of dictionary operations to maintain that information. We can do a little experiment to actually see how that's going to impact us. What I'm going to do is run a little bit of PIL SQL which will run some dynamic SQL. And what that's going to do is just create 1,000 global temporary tables. And we'll look at some before and after statistics when we do it. Now let's check the before stats first. You can see the key things we're interested in hearing is the recursive calls and the amount of redo generation just in creating a global temporary table. Not actually using it, just creating it. That will be an indicative of the kind of dictionary maintenance that's going on in the background. So I create my 1,000 global temporary tables. And as you can see, there's quite a large impact on redo up around the 10 megabyte area. And I've done a whole swag of recursive calls. That's all the dictionary operations going on in the background to create and store those table and column definitions. Let's now repeat the experiment with private temporary tables. Now one thing you notice here is I've got a commit inside the loop. That's because there actually is a limit to how many private temporary tables you can create in a single session because they're all stored in your PGA. If you go too berserk on private temporary tables, what'll happen is you'll get an error saying you've got too many in this session. So the commit will actually drop it each time I've actually created that private temporary table. Let's give that a run now. And as you can see, the number of recursive calls is dramatically lower. They're much more inexpensive to build and create. And that's why we built 18C private temporary tables. Get used to them, they're pretty cool.